number one Iron Age booty daddy. If you've been following my content for any length of time, you would know that one of the things that I've been talking about a lot lately is getting something new, right? Having something new to look at, to hold, to read, and so on and so forth. Well, whenever I go online, I present this idea of why can't we get new stories? What keeps people from interacting and wanting to engage with new stories? One of the things that I see often is people go, well, everything new sucks, none of it's good, this, that, and the other thing. I go, well, wait a minute. I'm reading plenty of you know newer IPs that have just come out in the last couple years. Obviously, you're not checking out any you know anything indie or anything like that. And they go, oh no and they'll list off a lot of the indie stories that they're reading, which begs the question, when I say new, do you hear 100-year-old corporate-owned media? Or do you hear new artists, new novelists, new IPs that are coming out almost on the daily? Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here, and I want to walk through some of these thoughts that I have about new, about the old, about timelessness, and about what we should probably do with some IPs that have been around for a while. So if you guys like what I'm doing here, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for me. All right, YouTuberism's out of the way. Why do people commonly associate when I say, man, why is everyone so against new things? Why don't people want to go out and check out new IPs and things like that? And everybody says, no, all the new stuff sucks. There's nothing new that's good. And I say, like what? And they're like, new Star Wars sucks, new Marvel sucks, new DC sucks. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. None of that's new, though. In fact, a lot of what they just mentioned is almost 100 years old. I mean, let's face it, Action Comics number one was released in the 1930s, and we're nearing the decade where Superman will turn 100, right? Then on top of that, you've got Disney. Disney, they're celebrating 100 years right now. Most of their properties are old as hell. In fact, Disney is an old company, right? Okay, Marvel, uh, not as early on. I believe they were 1940s. To correct me if I'm wrong, and let me know what date that Marvel actually started, because I, I don't, re I, I don't remember the dates. But you know, I mean, Marvel started, oh, what, 80 years ago, almost. So why is it when I say, why are people afraid to glom onto new things to go for new stories? They say, oh, well, this really old thing over here sucks, and I'm like, yeah, I know that sucks. They've had their time to tell the stories. Right. And why is it that people are afraid to let go of Marvel and DC? I think honestly what it does is it comes to the rose colored glasses of nostalgia. Most people have been lied to their entire lives stipulating that everything is better when you were a child. This is a, oftentimes a societal lie that tends to get us through our day to day mundane life if you believe in that societal lie. In fact, I think society lies to us in a lot of ways by telling us that things were better when you were a kid or by telling us that things were better back in the day because to be perfectly honest, th that's not true. Things are radically better today than they ever have been, right? We have lower crime rates. I mean, you obviously can look at world hunger is dropping, world poverty is dropping. I mean, a lot of good things are happening. Doesn't mean there's not a, a lot of socio-political and economical things that are bad that aren't happening. But overall, as the world is concerned, I mean, comfort and prosperity has absolutely risen, right? But for some reason, we believe this lie that that thing that was there when we were a kid was and always is better than thing now. And that leads into one trap. Well, that thing that was better when you were a kid was probably better because it hadn't been stretched out as long. Right? The idea behind some of these characters, such as Superman, Batman, or Captain America, or Spider Man, being timeless characters is kind of not a thing anymore. And the reason they're not timeless characters is because what makes a character timeless is that it has its specific place in time, and those stories can oftentimes be revisited throughout the rest of time and still enjoyed just as much and have just as much to say. The problem is, is some of these characters now are being so dragged through and stretched out beyond their relevancy. I'm sorry, I if you talk to a lot of the comic book fans out there and a lot of people out there who are reading the comics, most people really started getting out around the 2010s. And everybody flat out says that the 80s and 90s and some early 2000s were the best. So the best of the best has already been told 
in those stories with those characters, why is it that people want to revive Marvel in DC? Why is it that people cannot let go? I get that I'm asking this very big question, and I know that the answer is because most people are too damn afraid to admit that this thing that they loved isn't going to go on forever, right? Death happens. The cycle of renewal and the cycle of death, it's kind of a thing. That's what we're all about as human beings, right? So why is it that we cannot say, you know what, Marvel and DC and these characters, they had a good run. They did a good thing for a very long time. And now it's time to let those stories stay there and maybe check back in on them once in a while. But now it's time to have new characters who can take some of the timeless lessons that we've learned as human beings that were in those fantastic stories with the Marvel and DC characters and with the Star Wars characters and take those timeless lessons and tell them with new characters. Why is it that every time you say new, people regurgitate these hundred-year-old corporations? I, that one really baffles me. Because when you say everything new sucks, and then I say, oh, well, you're obviously not reading indie. And I actually had one person look like they got irritated. They're like, I read indie, and they listed a bunch of things. And they're like, and I loved all of those. I'm like, okay, but you didn't list any of them. So tell me, what do you think? I think Marvel and DC are dead and in the ground and have been for quite a while, right? The stories are done. The stories are done. They've been told. And to be perfectly honest, a story that never ends is a story without purpose. So what do you guys think? Is it time to completely walk away? No longer talk about these characters. Let them rest. Let them just sit back in the memory banks and find new characters? Or do you think that Marvel and DC need to be revived? I personally think that's a corrosive mindset. But if you have a case for them being revived and further dragging these characters through the mud let me know but as always thank you so much for being here and never forget i read every single comment that i get on my live streams on sunday it's called sunday coffee and if you do comment i would love to see you there so as always ladies and gentlemen until next time cheers everybody thank you all so much for checking out this video and i would ask beg borrow and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.